It's not too often that an empty tray is celebrated, but for Carlos Orozco, it means his table is a popular one. Carlos represents Puerto Vallarta, just one of more than 20 different area establishments serving food and drink at the 7th Annual Taste of Weathersfield, a fundraising event put on by the Weathersfield Historical Society and held at the Keeney Memorial Cultural Center on Main Street in Weathersfield. We had started the first year with maybe about 10 vendors, and now we're up to 22 restaurants and some restaurants that we've never had before. Ginza of Weathersfield is brand new this year. But then also our hometown, Vito's of Weathersfield, Village of Weathersfield, Lucky Lou. So it's a great variety, and I'm really hoping that everyone has a great time tonight. And between the pastries and the pasta is live entertainment to help the food go down. And just a floor below, we bumped into Puerto Vallarta's own mariachi band. But along with the food and festivities is a number of items up for bids in the silent auction. We have a lot of great prizes that were generously donated by several people. We have all kinds of baskets. One of the prizes we have is the rental to the Keeney Center, um, gift certificates, you name it, we have it. And the money collected here at the 7th Annual Taste of Weathersfield is used by the Weathersfield Historical Society to give back to the community. Anything we can do to reach out for the community that would require any funding comes from tonight. The Keeney Cultural Series, outdoor concerts, all of our programs. We provide free schooling programs for all of Weathersfield students. And while the town of Weathersfield ultimately benefits from this event, attendees like first-timer Henry Starbala benefit from the meat and potatoes of the evening, the food. We asked Henry about his take on Kraus Catering's popular strawberry shortcake. Oh, I've actually had two helpings. Not that I would, I should say, say that uh, out loud. I'm on a diet. <laughs> Dieting is arguably out of the question with the amount of food changing hands at this event. What happens when you run out? That's it, huh? What happens when you run out? Uh, people have to come to the restaurant so they can enjoy, enjoy our food. But for now, good food is right here, and early estimates put the total amount raised right around $15,000. I'm Steve Saunders at the Taste of Weathersfield, and off the diet tonight for WCTV Channel 14.